Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition to GSS videos. I'm your host Glenn Sam Sloan, hence the GSS and video is what I do. This video is for the EastEnders fans. Uh, let's talk about the Green Vic, shall we? Um, now the Green Vic has been, like the Green Vic's free lads has been sold, but who signed Mix side of the contract because it wasn't Mick. Do you think so? Please comment below. Do you think it's A. Linda or B. Shirley? Right, comment that below. Uh, but now the freelance has been sold to, for the pub. Right, do you think that that pub is going to be a uh, slash but B slash remain as a pub? Or do you think it's going to be sold and turned into, say, flats, a uh, supermarket, um, a funeral home, or whatever? What do you think it's be? Do you think it's going to remain the pub, or be turned into flats, or what, or something else? Um, please comment that below. Um, or do you think Mick is going to come back uh, just in the nick of time? To save his pub um and do you think he will do you think he will save his pub do you think he will save it or do you think he will uh, roll over and listen to his wife uh, linda listen to his mum shirley right well, i'll tell you i'll tell you one thing if that was my pub i would do everything in my power to save it because i would want and i, I, I would want my own pub and if I had my own pub, if I had bought my very first pub, because I actually want, I actually want a fleet of pubs. <laughs> um, my first, very, very first pub would have to be called the Titanic. And I had the interior of the pub uh, uh, done up as, say, the Titanic. And I have it as a hotel, so for that first class, second class and third class accommodation right. and then the tickets for each of these uh, um, accommodations or the hotel suites right. if you uh, if you have that the third class, the first class, the first third class and the second class tickets they won't mean nothing but this is because it was going in with the Titanic thing um, I even have pictures of the Titanic's um, crew, um, the ones who s survived, the ones who, and the ones who sadly did not. Um, uh, with a bit of information framed up on and put up on the wall, uh, I have TVs on the wall with uh, the Titanic documentaries on that wall as well. Um, so people can come from far and wide and uh, spend a night, spend a weekend or a week in the hotel of the, the Titanic Hotel pub uh, um, and learn a little bit of uh, history of the Titanic and history of the town when they go out and about and visit in landmarks of the town. Um, that is what I would like to do. Right? Have a Titanic, have a pub called the Titanic. That would be the first pub. Right? Um, the second pub would have to be, my second pub would have to be the, no more than the Titanic's twin sister ship. That's right. So in this case, it would be this, the Titanic's, the Titanic pub's twin pub, the Olympic. So I have the Titanic pub and I have the Olympic pub. Then have another pub call it and calling it um the botanic so then they have the three sisters uh -huh. um and then they have a facebook page called the heart of morph that has links to each each one of their websites uh -huh. so that's facebook pages so um where uh deals will be carrying down on so yeah that's what i would do I would fight for my pubs if that was my if that was me. 
and uh, I came back just in nick in time to save my pubs. You know what I mean? So what would you think Mick would do? Do you think he'd do the same as me? Or do you think he would roll over and, and pretend that nothing happened? Or do you think he would be packing up and moving on and try to get another pub somewhere else? Mm. Comment that below please and find out. I think he should be I think he should fight for what is his. He didn't sign that bit of paper and I think it needs to come out. So please comment below and we'll see who, who thinks which. Alright, so speak to that is bye.